See the timer? This is a movie we're making. We're gonna keep it at this width. Is this getting recorded for all posterity? So hopefully the footage you just saw that was shot by my cousins came out okay and actually illustrates how we built it. But I figure I'll just walk you around it at this stage. We are done with the wood construction. We still have a bit of waterproofing to do. But you can see what we're now looking at is the top of the boat. It's resting on its side on sawhorses. And it's kind of got a, uh, a coffin type shape to it. It's narrow at the front, flares in the middle, and narrows at the bottom again. Uh, I was looking for a wide boat to give me as much displacement as possible so I can uh, hold as much weight in the boat without it sinking. I've seen videos of one sheet plywood boats where the boat is resting very low in the water and I wanted to at least put one or two children in it besides me so figured by going a little wider having taller sides we can displace a bit more water carry a bit more weight but as I looked at the bottom which I had originally made rectangular and two and a half foot wide it was just too wide so I, I narrowed it up a little bit and the way we accomplish that is with the sides, the sides are 18 inches wide and all the plywood is 3 8 inch CDX construction grade plywood. And you can see here, uh, I have a kerf set into the plywood and it goes about a third of the way and it goes one ply into a three ply board. And that was enough to get the plywood at the two points set. So I just took the base and I chalked straight lines and I cut triangles off the corners and used a, a curved piece of 3 8 inch plywood here. When making this outer banding out of 2x2, two two, again I just put a kerf in the 2x2, two two, clamped and screwed it as I went, and that was enough. All the joinery is simply plywood butt joints with 2x2's two in the corner. Everything is fastened from the outside. These are just inch and a half um, uh, Craig screws, nothing too fancy. They're self-tapping, they cinch it nice and tight, they were cheap and easy to use. The shadows are kind of playing with us here, but here along the top you can see there's just lots and lots of screws and I'll end up having to seal all these. The bottom, the cleats on the inside will recess a little bit so that the sides rest on the bottom and you can see that joint here. What I've done is just the caulk that's in the joint I've smoothed out, but I still have to apply the exterior caulking to it, so that's why some of it's exposed and some of it's not. So that's the way those joints go. On the sides, it's not so pretty a joint, but I'll caulk it all. It was all done by eye with chalk lines, and I think it came out okay. So that's what we have here, and then on the outside, I put this banding on the exterior side. At the back, because I had quite a bow in this back piece here, I put wood on the inside and outside to strengthen it a bit. I don't necessarily need to. It's not like it's getting a motor, but I figured what the hell. And then this cross piece right here is because... Um, the base was holding it in, but the, the wood was cupping, so it was wider at the bottom than it is at the top. So I put that cross brace in, it's still wider at the bottom than, the, than it is at the top, because I expanded it as much as I could until I heard cracking, and that's where we stopped. But we're still about two inches narrower at the top than we are at the bottom. But that's where we stand. Um, this front piece is just cut at a 45, nothing too fancy there. And now I'm gonna start caulking everything. I've got it on its side so I can caulk the inside first, and then I'm gonna flip it upside down and start sealing the outside. But that's the construction so far. Here's the keel assembled. Um, the keel is just the same 3 8 inch plywood that the rest of the boat's made out of. And since it runs out and runs perpendicular in the field of this 3 8 inch plywood, wasn't sure I would connect the two. So what I did was I made the keel L-shaped, turns on the block. Here I have little blocks of 2x2 two two that are screwed through the keel into each other and then screwed this way through the back of the boat into the internal 2x2 two two ribbing that runs along this back bottom edge. And uh, that attached it, but it still had some bow to it. So I took these triangle sheets of plywood and I stuck them in and here they're screwed into this 2x2 two two, and on the inside, again, it's screwed into the 2x2 two two that's on the inside edge of the corner. So hopefully that'll keep the keel on. The keel is relatively straight and relatively centered and uh, hopefully we won't end up just paddling in circles. My turn to sit down. Oh, step down. A person that looks like. 
never. She floats! It didn't catch on fire. Don't no. wait in her. This could have held a beer bus, I bet. Oh, God. I think it would have needed more plywood. Up the side? The bottom is, uh, the bottom is not as strong. I it! Like, Real salmon now. <laughs> Mexico. <laughs> As you can see, Mexico. What do you think, Dylan? I appreciate the value of round ore handles. I'd be fine just burning it on the ocean. Do it.